Hello everybody, Lewis here, out in the uh, R Shack shop, and uh, been working on a little project. Thought I would share it with you. Um, some of you may have watched uh, my UDS build, and uh, you know that went really well. Well, um, got something new to show you. Stay tuned. I'm going to do a little uh, update on my ugly drum smoker, but first, let's get something to drink. Mm. Cheers, everybody. Alright, so I bought another 55-gallon drum that I was going to steal uh, parts off of to make modifications, such as this little door right here. Um, I just cut out a section of it and uh, overlaid it on the ugly drum, marked it out, and then came in and cut a hole in it about a half inch in so that this would overlap uh, so that I could uh, make a nice tight fit there. Um, I had a Brinkman charcoal bullet smoker that uh, was pretty much dead. Um, so I grabbed the hinge off of it and also the piano hinge which I put there. Um, so that's how I made the door. Then um, I had another old charcoal grill uh, that had a shelf on it. So I took the shelf off of it and I mounted it on here. Um, and then we go around to the back. Excuse me. The section uh, that I cut out for the door I used here and what I made was a little slide uh, type uh, air intake valve so now I can uh, open it up and adjust it as I need along with my other spouts and uh, as you can see there's another inlet right there uh, but I can cap those off um, so then we'll take a look at the inside um, I've got a grill rack in here on the top level. Um, I'm going to take that out. So you can see I have three levels that I can put grills uh, for different types of uh, cooking. And then I also drilled it out so that, put this in here, I can hang. Um, I've got one on each side so I can hang uh, meat. I'm going to do some uh, ribs here one of these days. So we'll slide this one in there so you get an idea. There's two of them. And then I bought these hooks offline, meat hooks, that just uh, hang on it like so. Um, then I'm going to try this out. I got this at uh, Bo Bass Pro Shops as my uh, puller. We'll see how well this does so that I can pull the meat up and off of there um, and then drop it down on there as I need. So there's that. Then the next thing I did was this here. I made a spacer that goes on this drum. Yeah, sorry about the camera. I just put these both hands to get it on here. There you go. So now you can see it's sitting on there. Um, as you can see, what I did is I just took metal straps, put them in, um, in four places, so it keeps it located on there like that. Um, what this allows is, let's say you want to hang meat, you can. Um, it was from that Brinkman smoker. I stole uh, the grill racks, the three of them, so I can put, where did I put that grill? A grill down in there. Also, so you could be like doing you know, corn or something on it while the meat is down below hanging um, is another thing. And then on top you'll see here that bracket and that bracket. Uh, before I go there I also took the handles off that old Brinkman and I mounted it on here so I have handles. So back to these brackets and you can see the slots. What those are for is Let's see here. Go around this way. My rotisserie, which sits on there like that. 
So now you can also be rotisserizing a chicken on top of that. Have a drip pan in here and then also have your hanging meat down below if you need to. Um, and all of this comes along with this here. And that is a Weber kettle top uh, from that old charcoal grill. I stole the uh, out vent. So, and I mounted it up on here like so, so I can uh, have it control the air going out along well is with the normal Weber uh, grill. So that is my ugly drum so far. The different things and uh, how you, what's the word I'm looking for? How many different things you can use them for, uh, for cooking. Um, the only other thing that I want to point out, as you can see right there, I've got expanded metal. Um, I'm going to make a firebox for it to go down in the bottom out of that. I'm going to use the uh, Weber uh, bottom grate that you would stack your uh, uh, coal on or your coal baskets in a Weber kettle. I'm going to use that as my base. I'm going to probably put a uh, pizza pan underneath it um, to catch uh, all the burnt ash. Um, but uh, I'll make a video of that when I get it done. But there it is, all in its glory. I'm pretty happy with the way this is coming out. Okay, starting my uh, basket build. Um, what you can see is uh, I went up to our local uh, steel yard and uh, bought this piece of remnant expanded metal three quarter by nine gauge. Um, it was what they uh, cut down off something, so uh, they sold it to me. This is two foot by five foot section. I got it for 25 bucks. Um, can't say you're going to get that everywhere, but that's what I paid. Um, so what I'm going to do is I measured up 14 inches and uh, I made a line all the way across it at 14 inches. And now I'm coming back with, uh, oh, just basically painter's tape. And I'm going to lay that across it. And then I'm going to take my cutoff wheel and cut off along that line. The nice thing about this is you can see, um, once I cut it, I'm going to have enough probably to make another basket and put that in my uh, offset. Or if I screw this one up, I got enough that I can make another one. Um, like I said, I'm going to use a uh, the bottom of grill grate of a Weber kettle. And uh, what is it? I think it's... Uh, 18 inches basically as the diameter yeah right around 17 and a half but we'll call it 18 18 inch circle I'm gonna bolt it to this uh, then bolt it uh, bolt it together and then uh, get it tack welded to up so it'll stay together but uh, this is the beginning part of it laying it out getting it cut and then we'll go from there okay I uh, figured I'd better do my uh, public service announcement before I start cutting this. Um, you want your safety first. So I got safety glasses I'll be wearing when I start cutting and I have gloves. Um, I have a nice stable work surface that I'll be cutting against and uh, we'll just cut this down. Um, you know, shouldn't have to say that but uh, you always got to go safety first. You don't want to lose a finger or get metal flowing up in your eye or anything like that. You know, of course, make sure you have plenty of room to work around and keep your cords up out of your way. So let's get busy cutting. All right, guys and gals, all barbecuers. So I just finished my uh, charcoal basket and kind of wanted to uh, show you how I did it. I uh, kind of did what uh, Phil did over at Daddy Cooks. Should check him out. Uh, he does a lot more than just uh, UDS stuff. He does a lot of cooking and uh, real good guy. Um, anyhow, what I did is I took the expanded metal. Um, 
I wanted to have it fit my 18 inch grill so I cut the length of it down to uh, 56.5 or 56 and a half inches which is uh, 18 to you know circumference length of an 18 inch diameter um, so I cut it down and then uh, I cut that in half and what you can see I did is I started by bolting one half together uh, with big washers and a bolt and a nut. Um, then I started forming it, got it into a circle uh, just by pushing on it, and then I bolted the other side. Um, one side I did real tight, the other side I just did uh, kind of hand tight, and then I worked the grill grate down inside it and it was tight um, but I got it to form in there and it's down in there and then I had a uh, bucket handle which I put over the top um, and then I came back and I tightened everything down um, so it's down on there really good it's not going anywhere um, so uh, what I, like I said I got this hook off of Pro Bass Shops and I can hook it on there and work it down try not to hit everything or try to hit everything your choice um, and set it down in the bottom i have a pizza pan down in there uh, to catch the ash i know it's aluminum um, so i know that eventually that'll burn out but at least it's there and you can see um, through the door i have room to put charcoal or uh, you know wood I may come in and notch the basket so it makes it a lot easier uh, to get it down in there so um, like I said then you can see at this end where I got the legs I just put the grate up two inches and uh, was able to make it so it'll fit over that pizza and I have another spacer piece down in there too that keeps that up off the bottom and then uh, this is the other basket I'm going to make. Um, I cut it down uh, 12 by 12, uh, then uh, cut it uh, in 24s and kind of notched. You can kind of see how I cut a little bit and then I notched it and that made it easy to bend it. So now I have two halves and uh, not 100% sure right now how I'm going to connect them. But I will, and then I have another 12 by 12. That's going to be basically the bottom. And there's the basket. Um, definitely too tall for uh, my ugly drum. So I will have to work on uh, figuring that out, what I'm going to do with it. Anyway, that's my basket and uh, how I built it. Um, it was fairly easy once I figured out how I was going to do it as far as forming it and getting the bolts on there and tighten it. Um, so if you have any questions, feel free to ask and, uh, happy grilling.